Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna give you guys some tips and tricks to optimize your battery life in Windows 11. While this is most applicable if you're running a laptop computer, if you're on a desktop, this would still be helpful as you can learn a few ways to be more efficient with your energy consumption. Before we get started with the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so first off, we're going to take a look at a couple of settings. If I hit the Windows key with I, I can pull up my settings. I'll click into system. And here we're just going to click under power. We have two settings here that will affect our battery life. First one is screen and sleep. So when plugged in, turn off my screen after 15 minutes. It's from never to, in my case, I think I'd like to do three hours maybe. Sometimes I have some footage uploads that take a while, so I don't necessarily want it to shut off prematurely before that finishes. Next up, we have the power. If the power mode is available to you, you can opt to choose the efficient power mode over the performance. I believe there's also a balanced mode, and so that's not a bad option as well. Okay, next up for battery life, we're going back into our settings. Go back into system and click underneath display. That's going to be our top option here. Now, since I have external monitors, I do not have a brightness option, but on a laptop computer with a built-in display, you can adjust your brightness settings here and turning down the brightness, let's say from 100 to even 70 or 75% will dramatically improve your battery life. Next up here, we can actually access this from our quick settings is to turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi when not in use. I have my Wi-Fi turned off by default since I run a wired internet connection. However, I do need Bluetooth for my speakers, which are Bluetooth connected. But, but the important thing here is just whenever you're not using it, just get in the habit of turning it off and you will save on a lot of power consumption. Okay, last tip here, we're gonna go back into settings, back into system and back into power. And inside of here, we have energy recommendations at the top in the newer updates of Windows. I would go through and check here, see if anything is something you're able to do or want to do. I don't wanna lessen my refresh rate. I don't want any of these other options. But by applying all of these, I could, in fact, save on power consumption. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any of the tips we covered, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.